In today's video, I'm going to cover the whole entire market in terms of Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P 500, including the economic calendar. I do post these videos daily, so I highly encourage you to double check the latest video on my channels on X or YouTube. Um, but before I get into the support and resistance levels, how the market will be moving, I'm going to go over the economic calendar first. So for Monday, June 24th, 2024, uh, at 3 a.m., we have Fed Governor uh, Christopher Weller speech in Rome. At 8.30 a.m., we have Chicago Fed President Austin Goldsby TV appearance. And at 2 p.m., we have San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly speech. Uh, one thing to keep in mind for next week, which is kind of important, it actually is important based off inflation. On Friday, we have PCE inflation numbers, which is the Fed um, considers this as highly more uh, what is called accurate versus the CPI and PPI numbers. So the PCE numbers is going to be important. So that way, the, the importance of it is if they come in worse than expected, so inflation is higher than expected, then the chances of the Fed cutting interest rates is uh, becomes less versus if it comes in better than expected, so inflation is decreasing the odds of the Fed cutting interest rate. And the expectation is the market is thinking that there's going to be at least one interest rate cut this year, uh, potentially one or zero. So the market favors the idea of at least one interest rate cut this year. And if it comes better than expected, so inflation is getting lowered, then the odds of it being cut this year is increased. So there's that. Now, first, I'm going to go over the S&P 500. So I'm going to look at the SPY ETF for S&P 500. And we have this upward trend resistance line um, as of recent, basically. And it's holding true still for the most part. We got one, two, three, four touch points. Uh, we came to the moving average, basically dropped down. Um, ultimately, we could be coming back to this level right here, which uh, it's pretty much give or take about, it's showing about $531. Right now we close at $544.51, but pretty much around 531 as a support level, potentially. The reason I'm in, uh, mentioning that is because the S&P and NASDAQ are more showing a little bit to the downside, not necessarily right away. There's a, it seems like based off MACD lines, it's gonna go a little bit more up and then come down as opposed to Dow Jones. Dow Jones, um, towards the end, it's it looks like it's still gonna go up. But either way, the mega caps are carrying the markets. So I'm gonna more cover the support levels and the resistance levels. So if you think it's gonna to go to the upside, let's say for Monday, the first level we have to pass, and it kind of coincides with the consolidation right here with the moving average is about 500, $47 and some change. Then the next level is the all time high from previously, about $550 and some change. And if you think this upward trend resistance line will still hold true by the end of the trading day, the limit is basically looking at $554, almost $555, but $554.50, give or take. In the beginning of the trading day, in case of hits in the beginning of the trading day, you're looking at $553 and some change. Now to the downside, we could continue consolidating, pretty much hovering around the price point we're at 554, but I just don't think that'll be the case. Usually at least moves a little bit up and down uh, in terms of one direction. So first we could go in the consolidation phase a little bit of $541 and some change, then ultimately potentially dropping down to this moving average right here with the dips around $539, $540. Uh, and some change. So 539 and some change, $540 and some change. If you think it's gonna drop to these levels, there are additional support levels before we get there. So I wouldn't bank on it dropping to 531 and some change right away. Um, but there's that. Now that's for the S&P 500. Now for QQQ, which is the ETF for NASDAQ. Um, again, the movement, like I stated for the S&P, S&P and NASDAQ, again, for the short term, slight, um, basically either consolidate or slightly go up, but ultimately, it seems like it's gonna start dipping down. I think we're gonna start seeing down days potentially. That's what it looks like, but not for the Dow Jones. Again, I repeat, for the Dow Jones, for some reason, it looks like that same time where S&P and NASDAQ are gonna be going down, Dow Jones seems like it's gonna be going up. Again, dictated by the mega caps mainly, so don't bank on the MAC lines fully, fully. Now, uh, right now we close at $480 and some change for the NASDAQ slash QQQ ETF. And if we were to go up, we'll see resistance about $483 and give or take 81 cents kind of thing. So. so 483 and some change. And then this upward trend resistance line that acted as resistance right about here, here, here. This The lines are a little bit bad, sorry about that. But resistance here, we saw two touch points here, resistance and support. So the line does hold true, especially when we saw the bounce from the resistance right there combined. Um, so basically by the end of trading day, we're looking at potentially, it, it coincides with the all-time high. So basically by the time we get to it, we're looking at resistance at the 488 and some change. And then within the early parts of the day, 487 and some change. So the all-time high is gonna be difficult to pass uh, 
coinciding with the upward trend resistance slash support line. So 488 and some change is gonna be difficult to pass nonetheless. I don't see us passing that to be honest. And we have resistance at the 486. You can see double touches right here too. Now to the downside, we do have, technically we could drop down to the 478. We've seen a little bit of a support resistance bounce here. So uh, resistance, support, support, uh, but 478 and some change. But then coming down to, I think most likely what's gonna happen is $474 and some change. We could get down to this level, but I don't necessarily think that would happen on Monday, but $472 and some change with a little bit of a touch point right here, plus with the moving average. Um, but yeah, and then if we were gonna go lower, I'll keep you guys posted on X and YouTube in terms of community posts. Now for the Dow Jones, by the way, if you do find this video beneficial, consider dropping a like, it does help the channel. So thanks so much for that, I appreciate it. Uh, now for the Dow Jones, we have this channel that's been happening since 2021 with the upward trend resistance line, not the channel itself happening since 2021, but the upward trend resistance line dating back since 2021, and then upward trend support level dating back since April of 2024. And it looks like it's still gonna continue potentially to the upside later on. We might be in a consolidation phase because right about here, you could see a couple times it hit the limits somewhat, basically where we're at right now. And uh, the next level that we would have to get to or not get to, but going towards is 39,641. Well, not exactly for 641, but 39,650 points, let's just say. Right now we're at 39,150 points. So I, because it looks like it's gonna be consolidating, it's most likely we're gonna potentially come back down to like say 39,000 or maybe even to this moving average first before we get to those higher levels. So 38,700 give or take points kind of thing. Um, and then ultimately 38,400 as the lower level. So. These are the support levels I'm going through, not necessarily dictating that the, the movement will be to the downside. I'm just stating that if it were to come down, first we'll see support about 39,000 give or take, and then the next level will be about 38,700 and some change, and then 38,000, there's 530,500 support, but 38,400 and some change. But again, to the upside, um, I think it's more gonna consolidate, so maybe we'll see a down day hovering around 39,000 clean, give or take, and then bouncing back up to go towards maybe having issues again, passing about 38,000 or 39,250 points, like we've seen multiple times. So 38, 39,250 points, give or take. And then once we pass that, we'll be heading towards potentially 39,650 points, give or take. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for today's video. Thanks again for watching, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.